So I wanted to show you my new little toy. I got it from Michaels. And it is the Spellbinders Prison. I hope that's how you say it. Not too sure. We just got these in and they are $39.99. I did use the 50% off, so I got it for $20. And we got a bunch of new die cuts as well, but I just decided to try one out. So I got the coffee edition. It's Hipster One. That's what it's called right there. Hipster One. Okay, so I'll do an opening and review and try it out and see if you guys like it. Let's see what we think of it, right? So, and if you hear any noises, I'm watching the movie uh, Hush on Netflix, and so far it's actually really good. So, you get the directions, of course, and here's the packaging. I'm just going to open it over here on the side. And this is the cutting machine. Sorry, the noise might be loud. So. Okay, there you go. And it says that it is, the opening is two and a half. Here's the opening, and here's the other opening. It's a handle. And this little thing here, it rotates, but it's basically for you to suction on your surface or on your table anywhere. So you just push it down, and you do it counterclockwise, or clockwise, and it should suck in like a suction cup type of thing. So you're, it won't move when you're working with it. So then the next thing that you get inside of the box are your four plates and you get the base plate, the embossing plate, the cutting plate, and the embossing mat and it's rubbery. So okay, so let's get started and see how it works. Let's try out the suction part first. This part is really smooth. You can see if it works. And you clock it down. And yeah, look, it holds my thing. It's pretty cool. So this is about, about five and a half, give or take, and um, three and a half. So the next thing that you do is we open it from one side. You open it from the other side and you have your mats. So then the next thing we have are the, oops, way off. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. So then the next thing we have are the cutting dies and it's die, die D lights. I'm going to open them for you. Just come like this loose, and they tell you. Here you go. So the first one we get is a oxagon tag. Oops, sorry. And it even has a little hole for you to put your string in it or something. Not too sure what that is. And the next one is the seal. I'm guessing it's that one. And you get. Oh no, sorry. That's the banner. <laughs> I'm guessing that, sorry, this one, it might be the seal. No, that looks like the coffee part. Okay, I'll let you guys decide on that one. <laughs> the coffee sleeve. And here is a Poilevro. Oh, okay, okay, take it back. Let's do it again. Okay, here is the coffee. Here is the Poileroid. And here is the coffee sleeve. And here is the oxagon. Here is the banner. And here is the seal. <laughs> and I'm sorry, that's not the whole. I think that um, is so you can poke out the paper. Still new to the die cutting stuff, as you can tell. So then, so that's. Basically packaging, it tells you the size and everything of your items. This one was $9.99. I got it for five with my coupon. Okay. So then the next thing you want to do is get your paper ready. And I have just a piece of paper right here. And I don't know if you guys want to do a side view or if that view is fine. So I'm just going to leave it like that. 
So then here it goes. So to make sure your sandwich is correct, you want to make sure that A is on the bottom, which is obviously your base plate. Then the next thing you want to do, it says to have your shape die cut template with cut ridges up. So there it is, up. And then it says have your piece of paper. Let's just cut that paper real quick. I got these on Tuesday morning. I love them. They were $1.99. Okay, anyways. So then it says paper, cards, and then it says paper. Okay. And then it says C, the cutting plate, which is the gray one. C, cutting plate. Okay. And then it says run through the Prisma machine. So that you could get it through here. And we roll it out. And guys, it is super easy to go through. I said it's not like an infomercial, right? <laughs> okay. So then once that goes, we open it. Oh, look. And you can tell it actually works because there is the outline of it. At the end of the day, I think all the machines do that. So it's okay. So I'm just flip off. So here is the cutout, and you can use that for shaker or something. So we're trying everything. And then here, you pop out the little holes. Hopefully I'm doing that on camera. And there is the cup, guys. It is super, super, super easy. Oh, and it even has the details on it. So how about we do the coffee sleeve? So I'm just going to use the same paper. Again, your base plate, which is A. Then your die. Then your paper. Then your base map. Or your base, sorry. Your base. And again, you push it in. And you roll it. And just hold on to it a little bit it'll get there then you pop it out and you have your base plate and there again is your indent right so there's a little paper and you go one two so we'll pop it out and here is your coffee and there are the ridges of the coffee sleeve. Or, you know. And here you go. Just that coffee one. And that one. So excited to use it. So, yeah. And that's about it. So, so far, the what I've tried, I really like it. I'm digging it. Let's see if we can do a couple at a time. Ooh, okay. So then we do the foiler right here. And then let's do the banner. Let's just try out that banner. So there's that one and that one. Put your paper and then your cutting machine. Push it in and let's see if it goes through. Oh, you gotta hold on to a little bit. Why well, do? Because my, my glass is not secure onto my table. So then you pop it out. And here we have the banner. That's beautiful. Here's the banner. And then here we have the Polaroid. And there's a the Polaroid. So the thing here that I noticed, it did not, it says Polaroid, but it did not actually cut out the square in the middle. It just gave you you can't really tell, but it kind of just gave you the little the little line here. So if you wanted to, you can either cut out a small little picture or you can cut it out yourself with scissors and you have it. So you basically just got the square. And the next thing I wanted to try with the machine is the a different a different kind of die cut. A different type of 
this one. This one is from Sizzix. I wanted to see if that worked in there. So let's pop it out real quick. And let's just get the heart. It's the easiest one. So base. Oh, do I have more paper? Yeah. So you have your base, your die cut paper, and your cutting mat. Or your cutting plate, sorry. So you push it in. Let's see if it works. And here is the paper. And the punch out. And yep, it punched out the heart. So I guess any die cuts. And this brand was from Sizzix and Spellbinder. So any die cuts that you have work. And then the embossing one, which is the next one that I wanted to try. The embossing one, you would put the A. And then you would put... Okay, so that is the end of my review, and so far, I like it. It's, it's not bad at all. Like, if it's something you have a lot of little die cuts and you really didn't use it because your machine was too big to cut through or whatever your reason was for trying a smaller one, I just, I thought it would be more convenient, and it really is, and I really like it. So I would recommend it to anybody that wants to try a smaller machine, so yeah.